you know you a queen you know you a queen hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm back with another nail video and this time i will be showing y'all how i slay my nails on a budget with these long lasting press ones so right here you'll see me using my cuticle remover that i got from sally's um and i'm just pushing back the dead skin that's on my nail or the cuticle that's on my nail and clipping off the extra skin that gets pushed back um or the extra the cuticle that gets pushed back i'm gonna clip that off and i just wanted to give y'all like this detailed version so you could really see how easy and quick it is i think this took me about an hour just because i was playing around getting up and moving around i wasn't in a rush to do these nails um but realistically like this should really just take you about 30 minutes all right so right here you'll see me fouling my nails to create like a rigid layer and that will help the glue um, adhere to my natural nails and, you know, make it more long lasting. That is the purpose here. We're trying to be, you know, we're doing beauty on a budget, but we want this to kind of like last a long time. We want it to look like we paid a fortune for it. <laughs> so I'm using the Impress brand of nails. Um, these nails do come with the sticky tab already attached on the back and I don't like to use sticky tabs So I still got nail glue from the beauty supply store. This is like one drop nail glue. You literally only need a drop It's so sticky and it dries very fast Like if you get it on your skin, I say just foul it off with the hand foul It'll come it'll like shave right off um, Okay, so I've already sized the nails her finger um and i basically just peel the sticky tab off after i size the nails for each individual fingernail um and then i put a dab of glue on the back of that and i just adhere it to my natural nail that's all she wrote it's that easy it's that easy guys but for me to get them to last longer there's a few more steps and to add a little razzle dazzle there's a few more steps guys so just stay tuned stay with me <laughs> okay so i like to file my nails just so they can align with my like actual fingers and I don't know i just like my edges to be sharp you don't have to do this part but yeah so right here you see me taking out some clear acrylic dip powder i'm stirring it to get out all the lumps and stuff like that i don't know i just like to do that every time i use it i'm getting out the um glue that i have for it it's like a gel glue that you use for the dip powder this is actually kiss brand and you can buy the dip powder kit that they sell at walmart it'll come with everything that you need all the steps and instructions um and i'll link it below in the description box so i basically put that on my nail like it's nail polish then dip my nail into the powder dab it off or shake it shake the excess off and then i scrape around the corners of the nail to get the um caked up powder off of my skin so i also go on the inner side of the nail like the free edge of the nail and i put some up under there um put some of the glue or adhesive on there and then i dip it in the powder this right here it just makes the nails more hard it doesn't press-ons tend to be kind of flimsy especially if you get the longer ones those tend to be very flimsy and this is a very good step to add on the dip acrylic because it makes it more hard and secure so you don't have to worry about your nails bending when you hit them up against something on accident like they won't bend in half they won't break off so after you um finish dipping all the nails you're going to apply the um what is this stuff called cannot remember what this stuff is called uh, it's called activator guys so after you 
after you get done dipping all the nails you're going to apply activator then you're going to file again <laughs> so if you want to skip the first part where i filed after i glued the nails on you can and you can just file at the end and then i go and buff it out with my buffing cube it's very self-explanatory because it comes with the instructions on the buffing cube so i'm not going to explain what i just did um i got this buffing cube from either walmart or sally's it probably was yeah sally's i got it from sally's and this part is necessary for all nail application you want to make sure if you can do any type of acrylic that you have an even surface just so it looks nice and polished before you go into the next step of the process so once i get done filing and buffing the nails i go back again with another layer of activator just to make sure that everything is nice and set before i finish the nails off um this is just so easy and so cheap guys like if people talk about people with press-ons f them press-ons are it okay especially if you want a budget like me so i just wipe my nails off with alcohol just to get the like shavings and powder and stuff off the nails um and right now i am going in with some little gems i got these gems off of amazon you can just look up nail gems or tooth gems whatever um and i'm going on each nail with a dab of the nail glue and i'm taking my gem picker and i'm putting the gems on there Once I finish putting the gems on, I go over all the nails with a layer of top coat. You can actually do this before you put the nail gems on, depending on the size of the gems that you plan on adding. Since my nail gems were just very small gems on the cuticle part, I didn't really care. But if you choose to use like a large gem that you get off Amazon or from the nail supply or whatever, I would suggest to put the top coat on first and then glue, glue the gem on because you don't want to like put top coat over a big gem <laughs> or try to paint around it. It's just too much work. But yeah, that is about it, guys. So I just cure that for a few seconds. This is Beatles brand top coat. It only takes a few seconds to cure, um, but you can cure it for the few the the full 60 60 seconds or 90 seconds i'm sorry i'm stuttering so much today all right so now i'm just going in with my cuticle oil i got this cuticle oil from sally's and i love it it smells very good just oil them things up make it look nice you don't want to be taking pictures with ashy hands or you know going outside with ashy hands as you can see my knuckles are kind of ashy because i wash my hands but we gonna take care of that we gonna take care of it <laughs> but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video and these are the nails i love me some press lines i don't care what nobody says about press lines i've been rocking press lines for years like it's the best thing to do when you're on a budget like i rather spend less than 20 dollars for some press lines that look like a full set than pay over 50 dollars for a full set China wins flawless Ha, ha, ha.